Hello Transformation to the viewer. I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this makeup tutorial with the beautiful Victoria Monet. So I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses Malibu Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to start using the lighter and darker orange. I'm mixing those two colors together. I'm going to blend on the outer side of my eye. And I'm going to also blend the inner corner of my eye. So I'm blending those two lighter colors with a lighter orange and a darker orange. And I'm going to blend those two. And I'm leaving that middle part um, empty. I'm going to show you guys what color I'm going to use. I'm going to use like that reddish brown color. I'm going to apply that towards the middle of my eye. Because I want to create that shimmer like. Uh, Victoria Monet have in the picture and I'm just going to blend it out towards the middle as you guys can see and I was making sure that I was getting the colors right and she has some eyeliner on so I'm applying a little bit of eyeliner as well so I'm just going to easily um, smooth out that eyeliner like wing it out so you guys can see the transition and i do love how i did the wing liner um it's been a minute so i'm just showing you guys you know what you can do to recreate this style um it doesn't have to be perfect but at least you know the colors to use in the video so after me doing the colors I'm going to go ahead and apply my Nika K06 Carto Concealer underneath my eye, which is a lighter shade. And then after that, I'm going to apply a little bit of a darker undertone of concealer. I'm going to use the Cool Cafe Absolute 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. And I apply that underneath. And now I'm going to go ahead and start blending it in. So, but I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses um, oil free setting spray. I almost forgot about that. So, this spray controls the um, oilness in your skin. And I'm going to go ahead and start blending out the colors. As you guys can see, how it blends very perfectly and it looks very natural very lightweight as i must say and it just blend 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 and i'm blending all over because i want to make sure that my makeup is set and it's really pretty and it just looks very natural so i'm just making sure that i'm blending out the colors so it can look natural and we will continue on to the next step of me doing my makeup so i'm going to apply that lighter orange towards the bottom of my um eyelid because in the picture she had like the orange and black at the bottom so i'm doing the best i can to just showcase the color will enhance the color more so um i am applying enough color so I'm just applying the orange underneath my eye and I'm just making sure that it looks very pristine. It looks good in other words. So now I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to use my gel eyeliner. I know it's crazy, right? But I'm using in the color brown, but you guys see how smooth it goes on my lips. I love pencils that does that because it makes my lips sit out more and looks very natural. So I'm just shading in like in the top of my lips because I want my lips to light the breast off. So I am making sure of that. So I'm filling that in. And I'm going to use another lip gloss to fulfill. And I'm going to use Ruby Kisses new lip gloss. I think it's called the Jelly. 
and I'm using it in the color coffee and it smells just like coffee it smells so good and I'm just applying that and really that is it so far for this tutorial for Victoria Monet and I'm going to use some blush I'm going to use our lighter pink blush I think it's number two and I'm applying a little bit on my cheeks so you guys can see. Because um, Victoria, she has a little bit of blush in the picture as well. And I'm just blending out that blush so you guys can enjoy and have fun, do makeup. And that's about it, you guys. I am just applying more lip gloss on. So I'm making sure my lips are moisturized and they are plump. So I think this makeup looks very nice and oh my God. it just looks very natural. So make so right now I'm just making sure that I add more of a blush. So I wanted the blush to show as much as possible in the pictures that I would take that it would resemble and be closer to Victoria Monet. So I kind of let it sit for a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out and it is it is showing a lot more and I'm just blending my foundation back in but I do want to see me braid hair so I did the braids I did the makeup so So this is it you guys. This is the finished look. And I know that this was perfect. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I have, am very excited and I love doing this makeup. Hope you guys did enjoy too. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and react to my videos. And um, I'll see you guys. Bye.